Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I've got a visitor. She's back there with all her toys and her Kindle So you may hear that there's people outside mowing their lawn. My husband and my two boys are out watching a movie There's noise everywhere. There's never gonna be a good time to film today because it's just a busy day So I'm just gonna do it. All right today is the new month of gone with the twins and um, this is a series that Amanda and I do where we're really scouring through our stash our over large stash to find duplicates or near duplicates or um shadows that are going to look very similar on their eye on your eyes even if they don't necessarily look identical in the pan so um that is what this series is and my personal goal with the series i can't speak for amanda what her goal is but my personal goal for the series is to cut down on those duplicates through project panning and um, it's gonna take a while because I have a lot and um, really that's what this is about it's accountability it's being aware of what I have what I can use and I want to pare down and just keep my absolute favorites and um, make sure that those favorites are the ones that I have as the last standing so I know when I need to replace a color scheme or um, you know, a color story that I know that I have my absolute favorites left. And those are the ones that I'm going to want to repurchase. That is all this series is about is awareness, accountability. And, um, you know, if it's in your face, you have to, you have to acknowledge it. And, um, as I was putting this together, we are doing purples, non matte purples, whether it's a blue purple, a red purple, doesn't matter. I think back to the end of last year when I said that um, when my no buy is up, I might buy some pinks or purples. I thought about asking my husband for some pinks and purples as far as eyeshadows for Christmas because I don't have a lot. And um, I've, people were telling me, you know, Frank in this and do that. And I thought it was great advice. And um, I opted not to ask for anything for Christmas except for like the mascara and the primer, which, you know, was not a problem for me. And I didn't ask for any eyeshadow at all for Christmas. I didn't get any. And um, I, as I was uh, putting these purples together today, my just a few purples, I, I thought about that from the end of last year and thinking, you know, I told everyone, I don't have a lot of purple. I don't have a lot of pink. Well, I don't know about the pink. But um, I haven't even counted the purple. That's how much there is. So I must have been smoking crack thinking I didn't have a lot of purple because by golly, I got a ton. And um, my arm is going to show that if I can fit it all on this arm. Might have to use this arm. And that's frightening that I thought I didn't have a lot of purple. And I might have to have two arms worth just to swatch the non mats and it doesn't even count what I have as far as mats. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Inventory people, inventory, do your inventory, look at your stash. That's all I can say. This right here should prove it. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm not going to go light to dark. I'm just going to start swatching. There's that much. All right. I'm going to start with the things that, um, I actually have in projects right now because it's just easier. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start with some of the stuff that I have in my eyes right now. This is from my Pan That palette. There is this little purple from the Coastal Scents Revealed sampler that I have. This is kind of like a berry purple. And I do have this on my eyes right now. Not a good swatch because it's got some pan in there. So I didn't really get a whole lot on there. <sighs> um, I have one in my Too Faced Rock and Roll palette. This is the color Pop, which is right there. And these are fairly similar, as you can see, a little fallout there. I'm frustrated with myself for even thinking that I didn't have a lot of purple. The NYX Street, so Street Style Palette, the shade right here. Mm. 
still kind of in that dark berry-ish. This is a little less berry, but, but still. Um, let's see. And the other one that I have in a project right now is Bare Minerals Hyacinth. Just happens to be pressed in here, and there's not a lot left. This is a very light, icy purple, and it's hard to get in there. I might have to repress this one. So there is that purple, and that's just what I have in projects right now. And I've got so much. This this hurts my heart right here. Too Faced chocolate bar. What is this? Candied violet. Got that right there. That is a dark, kind of blue-gray purple. Two Faced Chocolate Bonbons. Black Currant, which is this one right here. It's crazy. And these aren't even the pretty purples that I'm into yet. <sighs> I'm gonna get all of the palettes out of the way first. The e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette. This is the smoke one. And I have that purple right there. All right, the next one is BH Cosmetics. Actually, the next two are gonna be BH Cosmetics palettes. This is the B by Bud's Beauty palette. We open this one. And I have two purples right there. Get some on my finger. This light one is very sheer. And my finger's a little wet. That's why it's kind of like clumping up like that. Because I have a washcloth right here so I can wipe off my fingers in between swatches. That's what I am doing if you're wondering why things are moving funny. All right, this is the BH Cosmetics Wild and Free palette. And I have this purple right here. This one is a very bright blue purple. Because I clearly don't have enough. Elf. This is the Baked Eyeshadow Palette in Seattle. And I've got two in here, two obvious ones. This one has some slight purple to it, but I'm not going to count that one. I'm just going to count the two that are very obviously purple. That one almost looks identical to the one from the BH Cosmetics palette. Let me get another little swipe here of this one. <sighs> Look at this. All right, the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. I'm not sure what this one is called. It's Royalty. It is this shade right here. That's the only real purple in here. And this one is, this one's a real purple. Super, super purple. And I thought I didn't have this color and I've been wanting something similar to this and I have it. I just, I need to look. I'm frustrated with myself. All right, this next one is the Coastal Scents Winterberry Palette. I'm not gonna pull them out. I don't. I don't want to know what all the names are, but I have, if I can co cover up the mirror, one, two, three, and four. Let me swatch them for you. I haven't even used this palette yet, which is sad because it, it's, it's beautiful. I know that one's amethyst just by looking at it. I know it's amethyst. And let me get this one. I don't know what the light one is, but I know the dark is Regalia Purple, and I have two of them. This really dark one is Regalia Purple. <sighs> I really need to use that palette. I need to use it. And now I have one palette left, which is a duo, and the rest is Loose Shadows Pigments and Singles. Yeah, this is Pacifica natural beauty duo and it's got like a purpley gray gray purple right here and the the lid just came off and my finger was wet 
I'm not doing very good with these swatches today. So, yeah. I had a feeling I was going to have to switch for the singles. But that's that's just one arm. I haven't even counted them. Uh, it's frustrating to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Just on that hand. Or that arm. Not just hand. I wish it was just on my hand. I'm going to switch to this one. And let's see. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 in the purple family. Satin to shimmer to metallic. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start with um, the loose stuff. This is Bare Minerals Water Lily. I'm not even going to... If I can open it, I'm not even going to try and hold it up loose. This one is a really light pinky purple. Let's start down here. There is Water Lily. The loose ones, they're a problem. The lid sometimes, you know. All right, Bare Minerals Black Pearl. And it is purple. It really is. It's a very dark gray purple. Are you guys frustrated along with me? Surprise! Surprise, Jess, you have a ton of purple. That is the name of this particular eyeshadow. This is a blue purple. It's pretty. It is pretty. But I don't ever wear it. I, I need to start wearing it. All right, next one is Bloomin' Surprise. This was from one of their sets, a gift set that was gifted to me. It's a very similar color to quite a few others that I have. I, I, I'm trying to laugh at myself. I really am. Uh, this is Brocade. This is more on like the red-purple side, and it's very dark. I guess it's more like a, oh no, this one is like a deep, deep purple with glitter. This is not the one I was thinking it was. This one looks even darker. It has like gold glitters to it, but um, they're not going to translate on the camera, I don't think. It almost looks black, but it really is purple. And it's all over my laptop again. Thank God for canned air. All right, um, Flamenco from Bare Minerals. These are all Bare Minerals. This is my last Bare Minerals one that I'm going to show you. This one I actually had pressed. So this one's a little bit lighter. Is, my fingers are a little bit stained. And my kids are coming in. Let's try this one again. This one's really sheer. There it is. There's a mask in there. Okay, Mommy's filming. Do you want to go finish watching your movie, please? Um, go get this. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, go watch your movie, bud. Um, we love you, Batman. That was dumb, Okay. Alright, sorry about the child interrupt us there. Moving on to Coastal Scents. I have three that are um, mica pigments that you can't even get anymore. This one is called Chameleon Violet Mica Powder. I'm going to run out of room. And this is a pure pigment, which is why it doesn't want to stick super well. Let me wipe that off there. It's really pretty, though. I can't wait to put this in a project and get it used up. This one is called Blue Red Chrome Mica, and you know blue and red makes purple. Let's get you a swatch of this one. That one is definitely on the blue-purple side. One more in that one is called Inner Violet Sparks. It is very white with... Um, like a violet duochrome to it. 
I don't even know that that is going to show up on the camera. And I'm going to run out of room again because of the watch. So I'll have to go up to my hand in a minute. Ah, all right. I am going to start with the dark one that I know is Regalia Purple. I already showed you this one um, in the Winterberry palette. I just, I have two of them. Like I have two Amethyst. This next one is Amethyst. Again, two of them. I love them, but I don't need to, especially Regalia Purple. That's not something I wear frequently. Amethyst, I, I will always replace that one, but you know. I digress. This one is no longer made anymore. This is Elf's Single Pot Shadows in Purple. I'm going to move up to my hand. I have three more after this. There is Elf's Purple. This is Queen's Jubilee by Coastal Scents. And the last ones are all Coastal Scents Hot Pots. There is Queen's Jubilee. I have a feeling I'll be painting that next year for A to Z because it's my cue. Ice Ballet. That is Ice Ballet. It's one of my favorites. And the last one is Lavender Lace. There is too much similarity here. Yes, some are blue purples, some are berry purples, red purples. But really, do I need all of this? Do I? I don't think so. I'm, I'm a little frustrated that I thought for half a second that I didn't have a lot of purples. And yes, I, I wore purple eyeshadow and clothes today in honor of this Gone with the Twins video. And it's a good thing I love purple. It really is because right now I'm, I'm kind of mad at myself. I really am. I shouldn't have this much in purple. And because I didn't do it in a row um, like I normally do because there was just so much, um, it doesn't look quite as obvious, but I, I know I have a lot of purple now. I know I do. And I'm sure when we get to doing pinks, I'm going to feel the same way, that I have a lot of pinks. I'm sure I do. Let me know how many purples you guys have, not including your mattes, as far as like anything from a satin up to a shimmer, metallic, foil, whatever. Let me know how many you guys have in the comments because I'm curious. I really don't know how many Amanda has. So definitely go check out her channel to see what she has. She's going to show you swatches and I'm going to have her listed in the description box. I'm also going to have her gorgeous face at the end of my video. So you can just click right on it and go right to her channel and check out that video. Hopefully, hopefully hers isn't quite as bad as mine. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.